Hello happy people, I hope you're having just a great, great day today. Today we're going to be taking a look at Lord Dunsany's Idle Days on the Yawn. Uh, I have it here uh, in this collection from uh, the Penguin Classics, uh, here written by Lord Dunsany uh, in the Land of Fairy, I'm sorry, the Land of Time and other stories, uh, by the incredibly influential early fantasist. Uh, and this is the first short story of a series of short stories uh, that he wrote uh, that we'll be taking a look at here over the next couple of weeks. Um, this short story and this review in particular is very odd, and it's the first time this has happened in this review. I had actually recorded this video already once. It was an eight minute long conversation. I recorded it right after I wrote this, right, at, right after I wrote this uh, short story. It was fresh, it was like an eight minute video. And then when I went to it about a week ago and uploaded the, the, the memory card into my PC, and then I reviewed all the videos that I recorded over the last few weeks on the memory card, I noticed that the sound for this had not recorded for the, for the one that I recorded. And that's weird because I do a pre-video where I check to make sure all the videos work in the camera, the camera angle, the lighting, all those things work ahead of time. So I do a pre-video and the pre-video had sound. So why didn't the regular video have sound? Uh, I don't know. Um, here, I'll show you. This is my um, light thing, or my mic thing that I have, and it's the switch that has the battery in it. My guess is, is that this must have flipped between the recording of the first video uh, and the second video. So that, that's my guess as to what happened. Uh, but as a result, this, this short story isn't as fresh in my mind because it's been like a month and a half since I've read it. Uh, and I've read like, I've finished this collection, I've read a bunch of other stuff. Uh, I, I'm, you know, you know, I'm currently in the Robert Rudy Howard boxing stories, uh, and so this was, um, uh, and I'm like seven or eight, eight short stories into that, um, so th this was something I read a while ago, so I, I'm, it's not as fresh, I apologize for that, uh, for, for that, but I still wanted to do it, I still wanted to do the review for you folks, uh, and get around to it, but again, I'm going to apologize for how quick it's going to wind up being but i wanted to give you that context because that's the first time i've ever found uh the sound was in my video hopefully the sound will be in this one again i did my check ahead of time and the sound was recording uh fine so that's good uh, that's a good thing to know uh but anyway idle days in the young i'm giving this one an eight out of ten uh, uh by lord dunsany uh again it's the beginning of, of a thing uh basically this is a travel log uh, our main character is going to transport to a, a, a dreamland which he has not been able to get to for a while the dreamlands uh, it says, I think, if I remember correctly, it's, like, it's been like two years uh, since he's been to the to the land of dreams, which is a fantasy world uh, that is connect that he gets to uh, our protagonist gets to uh, from from from, uh, from dreaming. And uh, this is going to be uh, the first of a series. The next one will be a shop and go by street, and the next one will be the Avenger of Perdondaris. Um, and in this travel log, basically, what's going to happen uh, over the course of this short story uh, is that they're going to travel down the Yon River, um, which is where he goes. He meets a boat and a boat captain, uh, and it's uh, along sort of a jungle. Uh, and so there's a so it feels more like the Amazon or the Congo. Uh, than it does the regular stuff. So that's kind of, kind of how, what, what the feel of it is, was to me as I was reading it. Um, since, there, since it's a jungle river. But the river's big, wide. There's lots of different cities. They have different cultures. Um, and what's really cool is that the cultures actually don't feel like real life cultures. It's not like, hey, here's a... Here's 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 an African culture. Here's a, here's a Chinese culture. Here's a you know an Egyptian culture, right? Um, they actually feel more unique than that. Uh, they didn't remind me of anything, which I think was pretty cool on Dunsany's part, um, and one of the reasons why I'm giving this an eight out of ten in this Penguin Classics collection. I'll also try to find it for you online and try to link it to you too. Uh, and that's uh, my quick little synopsis and review of Idle Days on the Yawn by Lord Dunsany. Have you read it? What did you think of it? Did you agree or disagree with my take in any way, shape, or form? I would be more than happy to engage you with it further in the comments below or about the spoiler section that I'm not, not having for you. Uh, if you like this video, why not hit that subscribe button? Because there's going to be a lot more of these to follow, like fantasy, this one, science fiction, and horror. And then finally, hey, I want to thank you so much for taking some time out of your day and investing it and watching my video. We all have 
so many things that are happening in our lives and we're pulled in so many different directions. So the fact you spent this time with me is incredibly humbling and I appreciate it. So thanks again and have a great day.